God. Is that how that go? I did this call last night. What I need? What I behind that? Oh, the water behind it. How did I set this up last night? Oh, it's cute. Okay. <coughs> hey, everybody. Good morning. Let me make sure I'm covering up all my good cheer. I see dick balls. I ain't trying to give off that part. How's everybody? <laughs> How's everybody feeling this morning? I would have been out earlier, but I don't even know what time it is in these places, honey. I'm just here. Oh no, where's the damn lighter? I had did a whole workout today. Laughing off Will Smith in that damn dancing. Baby, let me tell you something. <laughs> he used to fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. But here in Orlando, it is 12.38. And I've been up since mm, about 7-ish. Talked on the phone. You know, back home, got my gym. Then took a little nap. And as soon as I popped on, well, check my social media, <clears throat> and, you know, I started making video of this stuff. But baby, Uncle Phil, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, a good laugh in the morning will set your day off perfect. You was to get in shape in the stomach area because laughing, you know, really tighten up your, your stomach muscles. Ugh. And baby, I have fell out for the past. I've been laughing for the past two and a half hours before I even posted another video up of that lady making, I think she was trying to make meatloaf. Don't take me out with meatloaf too. Mm-mm. So take me out watching this bitch make some meatloaf. And then she put a little ketchup and then she took the little brushes. <laughs> bitch, I won't come to your house to cook. I mean to eat nothing. Give me bottled water. Make sure the top is still sealed so when I snap it, it's going to snap, snap, snap. <clears throat> Don't bring me nothing. And then old boy talking about the seasoning and the chicken. I had got so many emails and messages about making a video for that one. I just had to. I had to. Oh. All right. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Who my throat hurt now? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Oh, God. Oh, I'm so in pain. My stomach hurt. We can feed myself, and I am getting my judge. Okay? Baby, my stomach hurts so bad from laughing at Will Smith fucking them dances up. <clears throat> that was a funny-ass show to me. Every Thursday night, I was on record. My videos always have you dying. Oh, thank you, Jill. I just try to keep a smile on everybody's faces because I'm always happy. Shit. I go through whatever for about five, ten minutes. I'll be cool. So I just try to bring the happiness to everybody else. Shit. We ain't got no choice. You know, I say that all the time. But when I get home, I am cleaning house. It's a couple of people that was kind of in my little Rolodex of calling. I got to cut them out. And I'm going to do that as soon as I get home on the 31st of December. So when the new year come in, bitch, I ain't got to deal with all that. Y'all, y'all, it's still in the same boat. You don't want shit for yourself. You ain't doing shit. All you're doing is keeping up drama, and I'm just tired of it. Oh, good. I'm trying to bring happiness to the world. Oh, my God. How do I feel about Kaya, Jeff? 
Kaya say a lot of things that <laughs> I agree with. I'm just going to say that. A lot of things that I agree with. I don't know a lot of the facts and the, <clears throat> and the truth to a lot of things she speak on. But a lot of things she say are kikis. <clears throat> I kick keys a lot. And then some of the things she say, I would be like Madison. I would lay on the floor, put my finger up, exit out the room, go take a piss or a shit, go to Taco Bell, give me a burrito or something, because she goes hard. But, I mean, you got to admit, when the bitch tell them the truth, honey, you just got to be like, damn, it's so boldly truth. But, you know. But she, be, I like that show. I love the the Queen's Court. I'm, I can see that going on TV. I think the people now is trying to figure out how to really get it in the formula, or should they even change the formula? Which I think they should just let them two bitches get up there and talk their shit and leave it alone, cause they have a good format. And it's funny as hell, though. She got what? She got me 50-50 Like, yeah, you know, because some things I'm like, ooh, but you know, if you really just, if, you, if you're if looking at it and listening to her from a fan point of view of people that she talk about, then it's going to be a problem. Because I know some people say something about Patty, baby. To me, she can't do no wrong, bitch. If she did wrong, you don't speak on it. I, I handle that. So if anybody say anything bad about Patty, whether it's true, false, or not, uh, you are really on my shit list, and I'm not even using baby wipes to get your ass off. But, you know, that's when everybody respect people for your opinions and just let it go. If you don't agree with it, then you say, okay, well, I don't agree with that. And you don't start hating on her. You just don't agree with everything she say. Because what she's saying, a lot of other people are saying. And she's just the one to just put it out there. You know? But I guess my job. I love you too. I wouldn't get up so I had to turn this light down because I feel like I'm at to walk. But I gotta wrap up because I'm just in my fed up and uns. And I'm not trying to, you know, break the internet for real. Where everybody getting on my digestion. Oh, that looks bad. I miss my gister. She in Houston with her mama. Ooh. I got to make a video about this. Babe, I don't know what that was that woman had on that plate. I don't know what she mixed up in there. I don't know what kind of meat. It looked like shit, peanut butter. And I don't know what else she mixed up in that. But I wouldn't eat that shit. She talking about wild ass bitch. That don't look good. She know that don't. You know, this is some Reggie out here in Orlando. So it's not like a cush. I really don't do the the strong, strong stuff. If somebody else paying for it, of course I'm going <laughs> to put put pass. But every blue moon I make, you know, spend about $60 for like one of them vows, you know, about that big or something. But I don't really care too much for the high grade stuff. The really strong, strong weed. Because it's a lot of money. And this is not a habit for me. This is enjoyment for me. I like to smoke weed. I'm not addicted to it. So I don't need to sit here and spend 60, 40, 80 dollars for a little pill bottle like that. Just with four little nuggets. Then I smoke all this shit up. Then I'm going back. No ma'am. I need to get the biggest bag for the cheapest price. It's the low grade. That's what I want. It's weed. It's going to alter my feeling anyway. Shit. I don't need to be high and stupid. I don't need that. I'm in Orlando until Thursday. 
I'm in Orlando till Thursday. Then I go to Chicago, leave Chicago on the 31st, come home, shit, shower, shave, dish, and then get ready for work. To bring in the new year. I love bringing in the new year, making money. I love it. I've been doing it for years. I think I missed one year. Last year, I was out. That's why I don't drink as much. Well, I never was a big drinker. You know, that's why I'm be having my two glasses of wine as much for the napkin and the straw. Because, you know, the wine glasses is always lipstick around the wine. If you drink wine, if you drink any type of anything out of a bar, a restaurant, any type of establishment where they are serving you drinks, please. Look around that mouth area. Hold it up and look. You're going to see some lipstick there. And I promise you. On the wine glasses. Because people sip the wines out of that. And a lot of women drink wine and stuff. So that lipstick is always around that ring. No ma'am. Because if you didn't get the first one off, you didn't get the second one off, the third one, before that one. So, no ma'am. Give me a straw, and then it don't stain my teeth. Well, I don't think it stain these, because these are veneers. But for your natural teeth, it would darken the whiteness. Anything color, red, purple, green, blue, all them colors, it breaks down the color of your tooth every time. So, that's why you have to brush them with some brightness. I had to ask questions before I was getting this shit done. Let me ask you about this, though. But, yeah, so I missed money last year because I had two Coronas and Morgan McMichael show, which I ate earlier. I, I only ate breakfast because I remember cooking breakfast, and that's all I ate, and the show was at, like, 1030. So that whole time I didn't eat because I was ripping around and doing it and doing it and everything. Came home, had a 211, a half a, a big old uh, can. I was sick as fuck. Land on the floor with my trash can. Gatorade, lemon kind, and some mashed potatoes from Popeyes. No gravy. And I laid on that floor for them two and a half, three days. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Took me out. Let me see. The dishwashers be in the rush. That's why I hate eating out. Yeah. They become a bike. Baby, I'm not even done with that. Get your hand off this plate. Don't you see that damn noodle on that fucking plate? I want that noodle. I'm saving it. Don't come scoop this shit up. You ready? Can I take this? Can I no, you can go over there. Or they come over too often. How is everything, bitch? You just asked me five minutes ago. You tell me, Jiz. I know, Jiz. I can't wait for Drag Fest. I'm so happy. <coughs> excuse me. That they asked me to come back. I'm like, damn, bitch. I'm going back to Australia. I'm hitting the jug. Making money move red bottom expensive. I said it not order because that's how me and my friend in Long Beach be saying it. Cause when when she first heard it, she was just going in. We was like, what's she saying? Girl, that's not what she's saying. You got the words all messed up, sister. So we just kept it, you know. Red bottom expensive. Talk to you, speak with you, all just we just breaks it down, even though it ain't the right words, but that's just our little kiki that we do. So if anybody listening and watching to me say them words and you saying that's not it, I know it's not it, baby. That's just an inside little gist. I mean, my gist do. <clears throat> Harry Potter what? That was, how was it? Well, it was wonderful, and it was over here in Orlando Universal. But I never seen Harry Potter. 
So all that shit was just like, wow. But then I thought, why didn't I bring my phone so I could record? But I'm trying to think. Was that the one that said no phones? But it was this one I wish <clears throat> I had brought my camera. So y'all could see it. Oh my gosh. And they had me in the front. Oh. The people wasn't even scared because they was laughing off of me because I was lighting that ass up. Oh, hell no. And you know, they heard some, what the fuck? Baby shit flying in my face with them glasses. Oh, bitch, take this shit off. And you know, I'm not really good with holograms, but I'm good with that type of shit because I know that shit fake. But the people like Tupac and, and, and Elvis and Whitney, all the, well, her hologram was horrible. Even Michael's was horrible. But I don't want to see holograms and stuff like that in my face. Little little shit like that, okay. You know, a little fake ghost running around and these fake little dragons. Okay, I can deal with that. But a human fucking uh, thing, I can't deal with that. But I don't know what y'all saying in this language. And I'm not even trying to block y'all because I got this, thought, this tablet set up real nice. But I'm going to tell you early. You get away right now because I must be in a good mood because I will block thine ass. Okay. Because I don't know what you're saying, but bitch, I'm going to give you peace, love, and hair grease. <clears throat> and I'm going to let y'all pray on it. Because I don't know what y'all saying. But I'm going to go up in here and bless him and block y'all. I don't know, boo-boo. See, I got this person on punishment. Let me tell you. I have been talking about me coming out here for a long time. This is a friend of mine, right? We talk on the phone every day. Every day we talk on the phone. They call me. Something is something. We talk every day. I said, I'm coming to Orlando. I'm there for almost two weeks. <clears throat> I know you're not far, but I could drive to you because I'm going to have a rental. We could meet up somewhere. Hang out. This is supposed to be my friend, my homie. Do you know I didn't hear from this bitch until yesterday? No, I'm lying. It was the day before yesterday. I have called. And said, bitch, I made it. What's going on? Where you at? What's going on? You know, what's the team? We ain't seen each other in about two, three years. Let me, I swing by and just say, hey, if you are working on matter, whatever, whatever. Didn't hear nothing back. And when I did, it was some old tired ass, late ass excuse. I was like, oh, okay, nothing. But don't think that I'm finna come running and driving all over there now. No, ma'am, Pam. You don't miss that train, boo boo. And it's not going to Georgia. How about that? So it won't be no midnight train over here. I'm not going over there. And I know that's what the phone call for. Oh, but well, you still gonna come over, no ma'am? Cause bitch, when I got here and I told your dick sucking ass that I was coming, you was excited. Calling me every day, double check, and then I get here and let you know I'm here. You don't reply back. What the fuck? And then you give me some late-ass excuse? No, bitch. Uh-uh. You showed me a lot of things with that one little stunt. Because you could call me for everything else. But you know what? I'm cool. You know, I didn't come out here for you anyway, but I'm just saying, bitch, if I'm here, what the fuck? So, you know, somebody, again, show me who they are, so now I know how to play some. I won't break my neck for doing shit for them. No, ma'am. You coming to town? Oh, okay. Always have a problem. When I say always have a problem with something, I mean, I had to ask myself, bitch, 
Should you try to go to school to be a fucking therapist because you be breaking some shit down. This person right here taught me so much just with their relationship problems. Baby, please. I don't, need, I don't do that chasing shit. Not even relationships. I'm not chasing you. No relationship is worth chasing. If a person don't want to be bothered, they don't want to be bothered. Let it go. And say, fuck it. If you like somebody and you, in, you know, it, it comes to a point where if you like somebody, yes, you have to kind of, you know, show your, show your, um, like in the person is not the word I'm looking for, but you know, your interest. You have to call them sometimes and, you know, text them or try to hit them up. But after a while, and they still giving you the cold shoulder, fuck them. They don't want to be bothered. Because by that fourth time, fifth time, they should at least show you some type of something or say something. If they haven't given you nothing, baby, let that ass go. Oh. Fuck that. I don't understand what, I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Like, bitch, what happened? Shit just don't happen like that. And then you give me some late ass excuse. Don't let it go. Mm -mm. It was a couple of people that I liked, and you know, I kept pursuing them. I seen them. Hey, what's going on? Buy your drink. We talked, whatever. Uh, Trying to take them out. It was always, we, it never went nowhere besides us going to or seeing each other at the club and me buying them a drink. I was like, wait, hold on. Fuck that. Left that ass alone. Right when I left that ass alone, guess what? They come, what's going on with you? Nothing much. I'm not buying you a drink. I'm not even attracted to you like that. Now we just cool. There's no feelings. No, my baby, I cut some off so quick and bad. That's probably why I'm single too. Because I cut shit off quick. I'm done. I don't want to do it to no more. I'm cool. When I say I'm cool, I'm cool. Move on. And now I see them at the club and they just done being with this person, that person, this person. I'm like, look at you. Just dumb. Don't come over here now. You done have four boyfriends within a year. So you've been doing some nasty shit, I'm sure, within them four relationships. Don't. You, no. I'm cool. I cut. Friends and all, I never feel like a person trying to make somebody my friend. Fuck that. I don't need to be cool with no hoe. If you ain't cool with me and we ain't cool, we just ain't cool. I never been like, oh, I'm gonna be friends with them. Nah, if it works, it works. If it happens, it happens. No, I don't have no drag daughters. I have god daughters. That's my daughters. But I have no 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 daughters. But it is a beautiful thing. I, I'm I've already known that it was nice to have gay children and stuff like that. But <coughs> <coughs> I just can't be bothered. I can't. It's just too much going on. I never wanted kids. Let me just say that. I have one son, though. I don't know if he's still claiming, but he's still my baby. But as far as girls, I can't have girls. It's a lot going on with drag queens. I cannot deal with that. Mm -mm. After shit, after my, um... After I became a master's, we didn't have any more, um, any more drag, any more drag, uh, queens in our family. Did nobody in my gay family have any more kings? Oh, she almost looked like my sister this way, but when you go upside down, no, ma'am. Uh, yeah, because I, baby, I'm enough. Now, kids, sons, I don't mind having sons. I have some sons. But I want them ugly, though. And I'll tell you why. Because some of these 
some of my friends' sons be so damn fine, and they so relaxed until they take they, you know, not get butt naked or nothing like that, but, you know, they walk around, they blow da 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 and they just so, like, personal with certain things, and I don't want to be the one to be like, baby, you know, we really not related. <laughs> you know, I just, for real, I just don't. I just don't. I just don't. And I just, I turned a lot of, I turned a lot of, baby, uh-uh, that's not for me. And you too? Oh, no, no, no. You know, because I'm very, like, you know, parentees. You got to have your ass a job, somewhere to live. And if you don't, you come in here and your ass is going to work. And go to school. Whatever you're going to do, you just ain't going to be out there partying, sucking dick, and giving out doo-doo juice. You're not going to be doing that. You're going to have to have something for yourself. But with that being said, if I had to let my child move in here with me because his situation not right, which I would do because you're mine. I don't want to see you walking around with no shirt on and no and the da -da 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 and you got all that Pop, 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 going on. I just don't want, I, 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 baby, I'm human. And we not even related like that. I may treat you and see you, but baby, what I'm seeing is, you know, a lot going on. And then it's reality check, bitch, we not even related. So no, mm -mm. It's, 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 it's a lot. <clears throat> and I don't want to be the one that's, be one of the parents that sleep with their kids and shit. A lot of that goes on. No, bitch, no, no. I want you ugly. So I ain't got to worry about that. You drunk, I'm drunk, we in the house together. No, ma'am. I hear all the stories on how it broke, how it went down. So, no, I try to avoid that situation. It happened toward us. It's a lot of work. If they want to do drag. See, that's a whole... I, I, I can't do it. Yeah, Jill. I'll be in Chicago this Saturday, Jill. I'm, oh, my God, Jill. I looked at the... My friend had posted up a picture, a video, and it was the whole ground, everything was white in Chicago. Everything was white. And I said, oh, my God, please do not tell me I am going into the snow this week. But when I did the forecast, it just, you know, sun is out. It may be cold, but it's no snow. Because I want to go home. When I'm supposed to go home on the 31st, I want to go back to California. I have not seen thy bed, thy toilet. In weeks. And I want to lay and sit on both. Sit on the toilet and lay in thine bed. Then I got to go to work. But I want to touch. My fucking car is gassed the fuck up. I have two blunts rolled for me for when I get in the door. My house is clean so I don't have to see shit. I'm telling you, I made sure that car had gas in it. I made sure the house is clean. So all I need to do is drop them bags off. Get to dying toilet. And just sit there and smoke a blunt. Just sit and smoke. Shower, thine bed, and I'm out. Then I'm back up in drag, going to make some money, bringing in the new year. Yeah. That's, that's it. No, I'm back in L.A. Uh, on the 31st, and then I'm at Hamburger Mary's to bring in the New Year's. 
Praise the Lord. I've been with them for 17 years or eight, well, 17 years. That's a long ass time, baby. I have been with Mary since I had touched ground and the LBC. Damn, I have been with Mary's for a long ass time. What I do is work. That's why I'm so thankful I do drag. Because I, could, I don't think I could be at a regular job that long. Somewhere down the line, I would have got fired. Because I would have did something, said something, then it take get them out. You sit on the toilet high as fuck right now, baby. Shit. But I did say this year, uh, 18, that I was going to try to settle down and really just, but my thing is I have so much going on until I really don't have time to try to start a relationship with nobody. And I can't start a relationship while I'm working. We can't do that traveling situation. Like, oh, okay, come on, come on. No, because then I don't know if you're there for me. You're there because you're taking free trip. It's a lot going on. But I am going to find me a little boo. A little bag. They call me Jay. I'm going to call them whatever initial they are. Or they call me M, and I'm call them whatever shit they are. We're not doing that whole dressing the white type of situation. I don't want to do that no more. Unless it's a party that calls for that. I have been to a party where they said the couples had to dress the light, and then if you were single, you had you could wear whatever. So they could try to see, but all that was was to find out who, who do threesomes. Or foursomes, or whoever. But that's all we was asked, or do y'all play around with others? No, we do not. Oh, I was evil. Ooh, I was evil. Why not? Oh, I was, baby, I was evil. What kind of place is this? Yeah. I kind of, I would left. Oh, get me up out of here. Get me up out of here. Because I can not believe, yeah, all the couples had to dress alike. And then everybody else to just, whatever. But we was getting asked, like, yeah, do y'all, you know, do groups, do groups. And my boyfriend was so naive and didn't understand none of this shit. And I'm younger than him. And he not really familiar with the shit. And I'm sitting here burning the fuck up. And he like, you tripping, you tripping. I'm like, if one more person come over here and ask something with this group shit or this whatever, I'm telling you, it's something weird going on. We sitting there. Somebody else came up. I'm snapping. He grabbing me like, calm down. I'm like, okay. I said, just pay attention. This is why we argue because you don't pay attention. Baby, bam. He sure got it. I said, what do you think are they fucking asking? And look at these fucking men. It's a couple, then it's a one. Come on. What the fuck did we say we were coming to? And I said, well, you know what? I'm telling you, this is the, this is the level I'm on. I'm on the level of finna whoop some ass, so you tell me where you want to go with this. Because the next one come, it's going down. Baby, he grabbed my hand. We walked the fuck up out of there because I, I warned him. Because this is, this is some, I don't know what the fuck, how we got mixed up with that shit. Something from the beach party. But I don't want to do the twin thing with me and my boyfriend. We could dress the same colors or whatever, but we're not going to be twins. And I don't want my boyfriend to look like me. There's a lot of boyfriends that look like each other. I don't want to look like my boyfriend. I don't want to do that. That's like fucking your twin brother. There's a lot of men out here that look identical. 
bald heads. They had beards, some of them. Some of them had the curly tops. They just looked like each other. What is that called? Because i never seen that before. I mean, I, I never understood. I got to find out. And I know a lot of couples who look like each other. So I'm going to say, what, what is that called? When you look like your lover. Because it's almost like you're fucking your brother or yourself. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research on that. This is why I need a fucking talk show. Because I need to have a lot of them couples on the stage and be like, do you know you look like your lover? So is that like a, is that, is that called something? Or is it just like what you are, I know what you're attracted to because y'all, Look just the damn light. So we got that. How did y'all find each other? Baby, that shit got me thinking for real now all over again. I already had these thoughts in my head before. So now it's just even more like, what is that? What is that? Is that called something? Like if it's, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of different terms in the gay community that I'm still trying to learn to figure out. So, <clears throat> I don't know what it is yet. I mean, for real, and I know other people have seen it. You know, you be like, y'all together? Y'all thought y'all were twins. Or brothers. And I've seen them in all races. Don't get me wrong. I've seen it in all races. I've been seeing some black folks look like brothers or twins and they're a couple. I have seen it. Lesbians, I've seen it. And all, I'm just trying to figure out what is it? Is it called something? I'm looking for my twin. I want to fuck my twin. Huh? I want to fuck my lookalike. What? You want to fuck your lookalike? Oh, okay. I'm going to find out what that is, Jeff. And if anybody... Uh, know what it is or do us a research real quick please let me know because I think we all really want to know is this called something and I'm not saying it's to me I really don't care who people lay down with and what they do I just don't know if I want to be looking at myself or something somebody who looked just like me you know playing swords with You know, so I don't, I don't know if I want that part. I got to do some research. Hmm. I'm going to put that down on my to-do list so I can figure that out. And I know a couple, I know a few couples who look like brothers. That I can say, what is that called? Because it's a you more than one I want some chicken wings hello Jill how was everybody Christmas I had a wonderful time out of my sister Giselle house that was cute I posted up two videos of them going in over spades just going to fuck in and, you know, that was it. She ate some good-ass food. My friend Reggie Mama made some uh, dressing, baby. I had to tell him, Reggie, you tell your mama that. I said, thank you. Also, the next time I'm in Orlando 
and she had the ingredients sitting in, her, in the bag from the grocery store, she already know what to do. It's going to be an envelope with some cash in there and a damn bag or two or three with the ingredients she did to make that dressing. I need me a pot, a pan, or something big to myself. That was the best fucking dressing I have ever tasted. Even my mama's don't taste like hers. And I can kill that pan. So this woman here, baby, she had wove that completely out. Out. The gravy, oh my God. So I tried to reserve some food, right? Because I was fucking it up. I said, bitch, hold on. So I was like, you're going to take this shit home and fuck it up. So I was like, um, you know, go ahead and take. Can you wrap this up and sit inside? I'll get it later. So he was like, yeah. He said, well, did you want me to restack it before, you know, I wrap it up? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Dressing. Just dressing on the plate and hide that. Put that in the room, as a matter of fact. I trust it back there. Because it's too much and too big, and everybody's going to want to know what it is. Not on that dressing. They will not. Because if they didn't get it by now, they're not going to get it. And it's at this hour, no ma'am. Sorry, give me. I came in here. And I was very disrespectful to that plate. But she's going to make me some more of that. And I made up from the bottom of my heart. That was the best dressing ever. Ever. I don't know what she put in that dressing. <coughs> but she knew what the hell she was doing. Shit, I can't even try to figure out what she did and what she used because... I just threw it on down. Shit. That's a bad We was talking uh, about like boyfriends who are opposite. One drink, one smokes. And then boyfriends who both smokes and boyfriends who both drink. And It came out to be for what we was talking about and from experiences that my, some of my friends had talked about. Um, the boyfriends who drink and smoke or do the drinking together do more arguing than the ones who just smoke or the ones who smoke and the ones who drink. You know what I mean? I was like, shut up. <clears throat> I was like, that's crazy. I never thought about that. But then I started thinking, well, you bitches do argue all the time. Y'all really do be chill, though. So, I got to keep that in mind. Because I be asking questions to my friends. I need to know some things. Because everybody know my judge. They think I'm a talk show host anyway. So, I be trying to really do research and see what goes on. Because I, be, I really want to know. Shit. Not knowing that they arguing and stuff like that, but you know, it's just like do you find it easier? Because you know, out of the relationships they have, or have had, we talked about based on that. You know. So, it was both. It was cute though. We had another discussion too. Like, yeah, you do need a talk show. I know, bitch. I know what I need. I'm just making sure I know what I'm talking about. And y'all are just proving it to me right here. But who knows? Who fucking knows? But I did go get a pedicure, though. 
And let me tell you what the woman did. She did that like mint shit that she rubbed all on your legs and they massage your legs and they massage your feet and do the hot towel around your legs and your feet and do all this shit. You in the chair and this all this bullshit for about 30 minutes. <clears throat> Mama went in, but I thought something was very weird, though, because she didn't like, when I go to my nail lady, unless, I don't know, uh, my nail lady be getting that dead skin around my toe, you know what I mean, around everything, Mama didn't get a lot of that off, and I'm looking like, girl, it gotta be more than that around here because I ain't had a pedicure in a long time. But shit. I looked at him. I was like, oh, mama went in. So, but I'm going to be doing that again because that was $50. Yeah, that was $50. What did I get? I was like, okay, no tea. I just, you know, I deserve it. No shame. You, you went in. You massaged the hell out these feet, though. She went the fuck in on the feet and these fucking. I didn't even know. And your ankle right up in here, all in there, and these little bones is oh. She was doing something. I was just like, oh my god. I want to pass out. But that was fifty dollars. Hey, Jeff. I said, "Damn, what the fuck did I get?" In my head, I said that. But I was like, fifty dollars." I said that. Oh, I said that. But I was like, you know what? I couldn't even be mad because I had just said I wanted to go somewhere and get my feet massage, and I went there and got. Two and one. Then I thought about it. And I'm like, well, if I was home, this would have been that. This would have been that. And she did that. Okay, so I worked out. But I wasn't thinking that. But she knocked everything out in one. So I was happy. I gave her a little $10 tip. Because she went the fuck in. Hey, mommy. Healing me. Healing Etta. And she was cool, too. She was talking to me. You know, just asking me questions and stuff, trying to get my gish. And I was throwing her all off. And then she said, ooh, you got, you got diamond, you got money. I said, no, honey. <laughs> Bitch, you all on my fingers. You should be on my toes. Why are you all up in my... Why are you all up in my hand area? You should be working on feet right now, baby. You're not supposed to be on my fingers. Oh, this pimple is gone. Oh, thank you. I'm going to tell y'all. Right here, you see that? Now you can see it for show. That was a big-ass pimple on my head. I mean, it was humongous. But I got some of that dollar cheap ass toothpaste, the white, that little cheap shit. And I smeared that little white shit across there and that shit started tingling. Shit. And that bitch went down. It was, I'm telling you, it was a knot. Right fucking there where you see that little one. It was swollen like a motherfucker. Looked like somebody just fuck out my ass real quick. I put that toothpaste on there, and shit, ended up, that shit came right the fuck out, and put it back on there, and that hoe went down, come on, look at that, oh, it was big, it's, I don't even know where it came from, that bitch was humongous. It was just like a knot. Looked like somebody just came in. Fuck out of my ass. Send them out. 
So I put some dollar in toothpaste, what well, a cheap fast toothpaste. Um they have it was crest. No shade. Cause I got it from uh Walgreens in the little travel department. And threw that shit up there and that little shit started tingling. No wonder why them people was looking at me crazy. Because I'm walking around with some fucking toothpaste on my forehead. No wonder why they were looking at me like that. Oh, no. I didn't even think about it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. I was walking around, y'all, with this damn toothpaste on my forehead. And no wonder why people was looking at me so damn crazy. Ain't that a bitch? Oh well. Shit. They don't know me, I don't know them. Thank goodness nobody took no cameras out though, from what I can remember. Oh no, what if it's gonna be a picture of me walking around with this damn white shit on my fucking face right here? <sighs> then I took a picture at the damn pit at the party and the guy was like, Oh, I can't erase it. I was like, Oh, look at my pimple. He was like, I can't erase your pimple. No, don't erase it. Leave it just right baby. During this time I had a pimple on my forehead. Leave it right there. <clears throat> don't erase it. Keep it as is. If you want to, you do. But for me, I would say don't erase it. Leave it there. Because shit, when we met, I had a fucking pimple on my head. Don't erase the damn truth. Not my truth. Shit. But the, the, with me walking around with a toothpaste on my forehead, baby, we could really, <laughs> we could go on and, 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 and fix that part. <laughs> I don't know if I need that part going around me with the fucking toothpaste on my fucking forehead. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. Shit. That was the problem. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, it slipped my damn mind that quick. Who is this bothering me? Do y'all watch the Queen's Court? Oh, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, y'all did. Okay, just for that part, okay. No, well, I'm at my sister's house in Florida. I'm at uh, my sister's jail. So, um, yeah. So that's just why it's different like that because I'm at my sister's house. But I miss my white wall with my silver painting, honey. And people don't like it, don't fucking look at it. I ain't get it for your ass. I got it because I like the bitch. I sprayed it with that spray paint because what I wanted was going to knock down my whole damn wall. And I still don't know what color I want to paint my wall. I think I'm going to do it the gray, though. Because the gray is the color that my bathroom is going to be as well. Who is this? Don't send me nothing. Y'all don't have your fucking pictures open. What the fuck? I can't stand that dumb shit. That's why I don't fuck with people on fucking apps. These fucking apps. 
They're just dumb. What the fuck was she cooking? Oh my god. <laughs> she told me you gotta wash your hands when you're dealing with raw meat. Bitch, you gotta just stay out the damn kitchen. I would have loved to see how she, what she mixed up in that damn whatever that goulash she put up in there. Hey, Jish. Uh, this color? Oh, uh, you know, thank you. My mom loved me in burgundy. She always wanted to see me in a burgundy suit with a pink fucking tie. I'm like, mommy, why, mommy? Why do you want me in that color? She's always say, I want you to wear burgundy and pink, girl, for what? I guess I'm going to bust that out for her this year, 2018. I'll wear that for her birthday. Wait, what first? Yeah, her birthday is before Easter. I'll bust that out for her. And I don't know why she keeps telling me that. I'm like, oh, why you keep, I mean, for years she always say, I want to see you in burgundy and pink. I'm like, mommy, mommy, why? What is it with this burgundy and pink, girl? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and it's been on my mind lately, too, dude. Bust that on that for. Because every blue moon, you know, I bust up a suit real quick. Go stunting on that ass. Honey! It's gonna be fine. Show up on your body in burgundy suit with a pink tie. Oh, I am. For her birthday, yeah. Cause her birthday is April first. Ain't that a bitch? And I seen a nice burgundy suit too downtown. <clears throat> she a hundred and twenty dollars. And that's with them tailoring, you know, it to fit properly and all that. And I go to this one guy because he already know the fit. Baby, you know I need to look like I'm on runway in this. I need this bitch to be tailored to thine ass. And he know, there you go. Now I just go to that one man. Because he got everything. And he know it. And he's body built like mine, kind of. So, however your suit be fitting on you, because you wearing the hell out that suit, I need to look like that. Just do that. And he, and he gets me right together. So, I'm going to bust that out for her. I'll do that. And I think we're going to get her um, a Mother's Day ring. With her burst on in the middle, and then me and my brothers on the side. Oh, uh, yeah. And she have everything it'd be perfect for. Her. Now, who is this? What? Oh my God, yes you do. Somebody just told me from Reno, I was, um, somebody just sent me a message saying they may have some pictures of me with Patti LaBelle and Reno. 
And that was the night I had on the same exact dress she had on, but I had on purple and she had on black. And that's when I drove from Vegas.